Hey everybody, welcome to Lunchtime with Pastor Shane for this Friday. Yay, it's Friday, we made it. As we are coming into Palm Sunday, this is uh, March 26th, and uh, Palm Sunday is this Sunday, and uh, as such, we are uh, going through these um, these uh, daily uh, times with the Lord with the theme um, as we lead into Palm Sunday of the wounds and sorrows of ministry. Uh, we know that uh, if they persecuted Christ, they'll persecute us. If they hated him, they'll hate us. So ministry involves uh, relationships, and so ministry is always messy, and it can always uh, leave, leave us open to wounds and suffering. So that is our theme uh, this week. Again, uh, we'll be doing this through um, next week, and then um, after that, uh, they will cease uh, for a time anyway, as uh, I will be coming into an extremely busy time uh, with uh, my uh, finals of my final class in seminary and going to graduation down in Kentucky in the middle of May, and so um, just a lot to, a lot to do, and uh, there's just a lot of time uh, invested in getting uh, this 15 minutes of video production together is a lot of time and uh, involved in it. So uh, we promise to do this together with one another, at least through Easter. And so that is the plan. And uh, I would remind you that these have been really uh, carved out to really uh, cultivate this habit or this spiritual discipline of spending alone time with God. It is something that I have often said is sorely missed and sorely needed amongst uh, Christianity today. As uh, we know from reading uh, reflections of other theologians and authors, and teachers and pastors that they feel the same way. This is a real privilege uh, that we have to be able to come and sit at the Lord's feet uh, to take um, some time away from the busyness of our schedules to do this. So we're going to go ahead and get started with today, uh, this last day of the week. Um, and I'm going to start with the world's greatest collection of church jokes, as we always do. And uh, this one is called Kids of Israel. At 23rd Avenue Christian Church, Charles Smith finished his Sunday school lesson. It was time for questions and answers. Up shot little Tony's hand. According to the Bible, Mr. Smith, the children of Israel crossed the Red Sea, right? Right. And the children of Israel clobbered the Philistines, right? That's right, Tony. And the children of Israel built the temple, right? Right again. And the children of Israel fought the Egyptians, and the children of Israel fought the Romans, and the children of Israel was always doing something important, right? All that is right, too, agreed Smith. So what's your question? What I want to know is this, demanded Tony. What was all the grown-ups doing? <laughs> that made me chuckle. I hope it did you as well. At least hopefully you found it amusing. Well, before we go into our scripture readings for today and begin to kind of anticipate that word or phrase that the Holy Spirit may bring to our attention to jot down and journal about and meditate on later, Let's start with a word of prayer. Lord God, as we come into the end of this week, and we have really focused on and thought about the wounds and sorrows that come with ministry, as we have heard this soothing psalm uh, read each and every day, we pray that once again, as we do so, uh, your Holy Spirit would shine a light in our hearts and would show us uh, something more, something deeper, uh, something that maybe we haven't seen before in either this reading of the psalm for our reading uh, again today from the book of Isaiah, where we want to be uh, prepared for the ministry that you have for us. We uh, always uh, depend upon you to be our light as you shine that light uh, and show us the steps that we are to take. And uh, Lord, it is in you that uh, all of our hope lies. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So once again, Psalm 56. I like to read it since it's the same scripture. Each day I like to read it from a different translation. So I found a translation called the Passion Translation. And since we're uh, next week is Passion Week, Passion of Jesus Christ, I'm going to read it from that translation. Again, Psalm 56 from the Passion Translation. Lord, show me your kindness and mercy. For these men oppose and oppress me all day long. 
Not a day goes by without somebody harassing me. So many in their pride trample me under their feet. But in the day that I'm afraid, I lay all my fears before you and trust in you with all my heart. What harm could a man bring to me? With God on my side, I will not be afraid of what comes. The roaring praises of God fill my heart as I trust his promises. Day after day, cruel critics distort my words. Constantly, they plot my collapse. They lurk in the dark, waiting, spying on my movements in secret to take me by surprise, ready to take my life. They don't deserve to get away with this. Look at their wickedness, their injustice, Lord. In your fierce anger, cast them down to defeat. You've kept track of all my wandering and my weeping. You've stored my many tears in your bottle. Not one will be lost, for they are all recorded in your book of remembrance. The very moment I call to you for a father's help, the tide of battle turns and my enemies flee. This one thing I know, God is on my side. I trust in the Lord and I praise him. I trust in the word of God and I praise him. What harm could man do to me? With God on my side, I will not be afraid of what comes. My heart overflows with praise to God and for his promises. I will always trust in him. So I'm thanking you with all my heart, with gratitude for all you've done. I will do everything I've promised you, Lord, for you have saved my soul from death and my feet from stumbling so that I can walk before the Lord, bathed in his life giving light. Well, just some good words in there. We think about the suffering in ministry and what happens oftentimes. And it's always amazing how people uh, will try to twist words and twist the truth. And then they begin to plot your demise, as this psalm has pointed out. And you know, they begin to uh, talk about how, oh, you're going to fail, and that place is going to fail, that organization, that church, whatever it is. Um, all just uh, messy, messy, messy. But uh, we have nothing to fear when uh, we know that we have uh, walked uh, the straight path that God has uh, called us upon, and we are going to trust him to get us through those wounds and those sorrows. Well, the scripture reading then uh, for today is um, instead of from the New Testament, it's once again from the Old Testament, and it's again from the book of not just Isaiah, but that same chapter we looked at yesterday. So we looked at the first six chapters yesterday of uh, Isaiah 53, and today we're going to look at 7 through 9. So Isaiah 53, 7 through 9. Um, let's see here, Isaiah 53, 7 through 9. This in the New Revised Standard Version. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By a perversion of justice, he was taken away. Who could have imagined his future? For he was cut off from the land of the living stricken for the transgression of my people. They made his grave with the wicked and his tomb with the rich, although he had done no violence and there was no deceit in his mouth. We often feel that way many times uh, when we suffer a wounded ministry, when we've been trying to do right by people and uh, always treating them uh, fairly and correctly. But um, sometimes... Um, Things don't come out our way, and so we can feel uh, kind of like that. We feel like we've done nothing to deserve it, uh, but it happens anyway, just like with Christ. So we're really suffering just as Christ suffered at that moment. The reading for reflection today comes from George MacDonald, and in his work that he called Diary of an Old Soul, and it's pretty short, but it's in kind of some different language, so we'll read it slow. So again, from Diary of an Old Soul by George MacDonald. Thy will be done. I yield up everything. The life is more than meat, than more than health. The body more than raiment, than more than wealth. The hairs I made not, thou art numbering. Thou art my life, I the brook, thou the spring. 
Because thine eyes are open, I can see. Because thou art thyself, tis therefore I am me. So we'll read through that one more time. Again, it was short. Thy will be done. I yield up everything. The life is more than meat, then more than health. The body, more than raiment. raiment. Well, then it's more than wealth. The hairs I made not, thou art, God is numbering. Thou art my life. So I, we are the brook, he is the spring. He's the source of that living water, the source from where all life comes from. Because uh, thine eyes are open, I can see. Because thou art thyself, tis therefore I am me. Well, hopefully out of all of those readings, uh, whether it was a psalm uh, from the chapter 53 from the book of Isaiah or for this reading for reflection, uh, hopefully uh, I trust uh, that something, um, something came up there and came out uh, at you and you've been able to jot that down uh, and so that you can go back to it and take a look at it. Uh, and meditate on it, and perhaps uh, as you spend that quiet time alone with God, He is going to bring uh, something more out, some something that He wants to teach you about that particular word or that phrase. So we've come to that point in our time where we pray uh, together, kind of pray for one another, and lift up what's ever on our hearts. So I'll allow you a few moments of silence to do that before uh, I close uh, and we, we close out for today. Let's pray. Lord God, we lift up all of these things that are on our hearts, and uh, though we don't share them verbally uh, during this time like uh, we do uh, in our church services, and we do each week through our uh, prayer chains, uh, various emails that come um, that are revealing the prayer requests during the week, we know that you hear every one of them, and you care about every prayer request that we have just lifted up. And so we can trust and know and have full assurance that you have already began to answer in accordance with your will. We trust in that, knowing that you do all things well. And it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Well, uh, again, the hymn, uh, anonymous hymn, author unknown, was, uh, O Sacred Head Now Wounded. O Sacred Head Now Wounded, with grief and shame weighed down, now scornfully surrounded with thorns, thine only crown. How pale thou art with anguish, with sore abuse and scorn. How does this visage languish, which once was bright as morn? What thou, my Lord, hast suffered was all for sinner's gain. Mine, mine was the transgression, but thine the deadly pain. Lo, here I fall, my Savior, tis I deserve thy place. Look on me with thy favor, vouchsafe to me thy grace. What language shall I borrow to thank thee, dearest friend? For this thy dying sorrow, thy pity without end. O oh, make me thine forever. And should I fainting be, Lord, let me never, never outlive my love to thee. Amen and amen. Well, uh, as you go into your quiet time uh, with God, um, now I have you uh, hear this uh, benediction go forth into this day with the strong name of jesus christ to sustain you amen amen we will see you right back here on monday for the last week of this lunchtime with pastor shane so we'll spend one more week together before we break uh, for a while or for an indefinite period and uh, so blessings on you as you go into your quiet time i trust that it is uh, as sweet for you as it is for me and that this time together that we have together uh, is a blessing to you as well. So blessings on you all. And we'll see you Monday.